<laughs> a warm summer evening. Friends for dinner. Have you ever had this happen? Quick, look, a spaceship! Oh, I see you spotted my pet Antichinus. What's an Antichinus? It's a small native marsupial, sometimes mistaken for a rat. To be honest, it's become a bit of a joke around my house. Every time I see some small rodent-like creature rustling, I say, ooh, look at my Antichinus. At least I pretend that's what it is. But lately I've been wondering, what if it really is a native? Well, there are a lot of native animals that can be mistaken for a rat. Should I be reaching for the bait or setting out a dinner plate? And how can I find out before it's too late? Guys, guys, I've been thinking about setting up motion-activated cameras in my yard. Yeah, it's a top idea. Yeah. Luckily, my dinner party was full of biologists. And so Operation Who's Been Visiting My House was born. Our mission? To discover all the native creatures who might be mistaken for a rat. I recruited more citizen scientists trained them in the biological arts of infrared backyard surveillance. So make sure that isn't covered up. And we were away. Our recruits come from the inner city. This is the kitchen. We have uh, my flatmate, Kira Lee. Hello. To further afield. I'm Pankaj Patel and this is our backyard. Something's been eating Cruz's food and we're not sure what it is. So we're going to make up the bait. There is um, pudding in the oats. Well, it, it actually is delicious. And I'm just about to put in the honey. Bates, camera, action. So who are the contenders? What rat or rat-like native might we expect? Well, let's start with my favourite, Antichinus. They look a bit like a rat. <laughs> you know, people often call them marsupial mice because they're so, you know, similar. Well, they've got really pointy noses. They've got little double folds in their ears. They're very cute. I really like them. I think they're little Jedis of the forest. Where your home adjoins bushland, they're known to frequent houses. I had one steal one of my socks once. So this is the creature most likely to set up home in your sock drawer. And we're not stealing socks. They eat your cockroaches and spiders. You can see why I'm hoping this is what's visiting my home. She's a bit scared, but she's about to get a cockroach to eat in a minute. OK, let me show you something. Look. Little babies. What's the most interesting thing about them, though? Their sex life. <laughs> they come into estrus and there's just a, a mating frenzy amongst all the males, swapping partners and mating for 13 hours. Then all the males die and the females are then left to raise the young. It's an amazing life strategy and it's very unique. It's unique to Australia. And so to the next of our potential native backyard visitors. Though to score one of these, you have to live by the water. Water rats are fantastic. They're our largest rodent. They live alongside streams and rivers and they lead an aquatic lifestyle. Most of us have never even heard of them, but they're in the waterways of many of our capital cities including these homes around Manly. And they're gorgeous. They have webbed feet, a white-tipped tail, and beautiful, sleek fur. The way to think of them, they're like the otter of Australia. So they should be more famous, really. No, people wouldn't know the water rat. I mean, it is, you know, it's a bit like ratty in Wind in the Willows, but it's our, it's our own ratty. <laughs> well, that's two of the contenders. And with Operation Who's Been Visiting My House in full swing, we're starting to get surveillance results back from the field. This is your place. Yes. Shall we see what was visiting? Oh, yeah. dirty, <laughs> filthy Indian miner. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just got to get a look at his tail. Yeah, it is. Oh. It's long. It is long. Black rat. Black rat. Ba -bow. Ba -bow. <laughs> And so to the first of our rogue rats, the black rat. The black rat, which confusingly is rarely black, came here with the Europeans, along with its close colleague, the brown rat, pictured here. These are life's great survivors. Wherever there are people, there are black or brown rats, usually within a mere 10 metres of us. Everybody would know black rats uh, carried the plague and People probably don't know what impact they've had on wildlife around the world. 
they've devastated the bird fauna of the Pacific and many parts of the world. The brown rat, they're a big, bulky rat. I think they're nothing but trouble. They're the dirty, stinking rats you see in the train tunnels and the railways and frequent sewers. And Any redeeming features at all? Yes, there are uh, food for other things, things like snakes and owls, so that's their only redeeming quality. And they do have one other semi-redeeming feature. Brown rats gave rise to pet rats and also to lab rats. Brown rats are the main scientific model for humans when you think about it. We've probably learnt more about health and human nature from these guys than just about any other creature on the planet. And now our next citizen scientist is ready to play what rat or rat-like native is that? OK. What's been visiting your yard? Ooh, Nervous? Know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's One find out. Oh, oh, look at that tail. Oh, yeah. look at that tail. Oh, that's a black rat. Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Rush tail, possibly. Oh, no. a oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. the long nosed yeah. bandicoot. Yeah. Okay, so congratulations, bandicoot. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's a good one. That's good. <laughs> Incredibly, some species of bandicoot are thriving in our urban backyards. In fact, they love our lawns. Bandicoots, they're amazing marsupials. Um, they're the fastest breeders, 12 and a half days is the total length of the pregnancy. The mothers will then carry the pouch young round for about 52 days and then the um, young become semi-independent. If you saw baby bandicoots in your backyard, you could easily think that it was a rat. Next up, Claire and family. Okay, you ready to see what you found? Yeah. It's a wallaby. Yeah. Probably a yeah, swamp probably wallaby. A swamp wallaby. Yeah. Just I think see. people will be amazed actually at how much variety is turning up at night. All no. this nocturnal wildlife yeah. just visiting people's yeah. backyards in Sydney. Yeah. It's fantastic. Daytime. Oh. Daytime. Oh, look, we've oh. got a goanna. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They stalk around our guinea pigs. Oh, and <laughs> love guinea pigs. If you give them a chance and they'll swallow them right up. Yeah. We can't tell what type of rat, though, because it could be a bush rat. It's a bit hard oh. to tell. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a bush rat. We've, got to, we've got, really got to see its tail. Which brings us to the last of the native candidates likely to be mistaken for a rat. It's the native bush rat. Bush rats are great. They almost look like a little cartoon. They've got these cute little pink feet and these short rounded ears. Bush rats are fantastic. They are really a great survivor. They're the most common native mammal probably up and down the east coast of Australia. They probably play an important role in stopping the black rats from invading the bush. New Zealand's overrun with black rats. Sorry, New Zealand. But in Australia, black rats have trouble getting into the bush and it's probably because of the bush rat, which is blocking their invasion. Well, so far our citizen scientists have scored a bandicoot and a slightly confronting number of black rats but no one's been lucky enough to score my favourite yet. What have we got? There it is. Oh, oh no, you'll get a bit of view. Star of oh, the bush. it's yeah. cute. How cute's that? Yeah. It's an antichinus. It's an antichinus. Yeah. Look at that. Congratulations! Yes! yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have an, an antichinus. Yes, look at that. Look at him. <laughs> As for me, my hopes, my dreams. So, Jonica, are you ready to share with us the results of your surveillance? Yes, I've... My years of pretending I have pet antichinuses. He's cute, isn't he? That, that was an antichinus, wasn't it? Do you mm. want to go back? <laughs> How do we break Come this? Come on, let you? me see. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say, Judd? You've got a rat. Yeah. I've got a rat? Yep. You've got a black rat. A black rat. And so concludes Operation Who's Been Visiting My House. And while I may have scored a rat, it does make you think twice about putting out the rat bait. Baiting should be a last resort, perhaps, because, you know, as Pankaj had in his backyard, you, you can be surprised by native animals, not just antichinus or native rats, but things like bandicoots. Mm. Don't just assume that what you spot is going to be a rat, because clearly, as we've seen, not everything's a rat. <laughs>